Hey everybody, it's Dee, and I am here to share with you some snail mail from three people on YouTube that are amazing. Okay, so let's see, who should I do first? Oh, actually, I'm going to show you something that I didn't get in the mail, but that I got at the store. <laughs> you know, um, this Hufflepuff patch, Harry Potter Hufflepuff patch. I see these in top, uh, Hot Topic and what's another store, like Lunchbox, for like $14. Spirit Halloween Store had it for $5.99. Yes. Yes. So there's that. But anyway, that's not really part of the thing. <laughs> All right. So let's start first with, hopefully I just didn't show my address right now, uh, Purgatory Paranormal of New York. Okay, I want to talk about her channel because she's amazing. Her name is Cynthia. Little note. Cynthia's channel has ghost hunts, cemetery tours or walks, spirit boxes, spirit boxes while in the cemetery, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then she also does a thing that I love where she goes thrifting to thrift shops. And one in particular store that she enjoys going to gets things, groups them together and puts them in bags that you can't see what they are and hangs them up and puts prices on them. Kind of like a grab bag. Okay. So she buys grab bags. She never knows what she's going to get. And then she opens them up live on her channel while she's doing a spirit box. Sometimes maybe they're not live. I don't know. Cause I'm never on when people are live, so I watch the re replay back, so I'm not sure if they're live or not. I think she's done some live, but anyway, it doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. <sighs> so then she'll say, well, if you see anything that you like from any of the stuff that I got, let me know and send me your address and she'll send it to you. So she sent me a couple of things that was grouped together in one bag. And let's see what they are. Oh, <laughs> This is perfect for me. It says D. Love it. Little journal. And this is awesome. I just got two other new journals like today. <laughs> this is not sent to me. But look at this little baby journal. And look at this Harry Potter journal. I got it because it has a witch. I mean, come on, let's be real. It's freaking amazing though. I love journals that have these little things. Anyway, this tiny journal is so cute. They all have lined paper. But anyway, this was not part of anything that anybody mailed me. I just sharing, sharing, sharing video. All right, so she sent me this. Oh, how cute. It's like a little, it's probably a cosmetic bag, but you can use this for pencils, change, whatever. This is cute. I bet I could fit a deck in here. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Smithwaite. Even in the box. Let's see. It can fit the box. It can fit the deck without the box. Boom. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Love it. And it's a cool material. It seems, let me read this tag because I'm feeling like this is a recycled material. I don't have my glasses on. Yes, mixed bag is what it's called. Recycled something, but it's fully recycled. That's really cool. Love it. All right, that's amazing. Put that back. All right, you might hear my son yelling at my dog. Same old, same old. And then this little necklace, it says Christmas peace. Can you see what it is? It's like a little dove and a heart. It says the dove remains a symbol of the spirit of God, confirming the great gift of faith in the rise, risen Lord, Jesus Christ, who brings peace to our hearts and to our homes. And it was from St. Joseph Indian School in North South Dakota. I really like that logo they have. Very nice. So what I think I'll do with this, let me see if I can get it out of here. <clears throat> if I'm able to remove the charm from the chain, 
then yes all right so if I remove the charm from the chain guys so now I just have a charm which isn't wanting to focus there we go I can put this in some of my charms and I have a little tin of charms right here remember this I got this at a thrift store you know like a vintage shop I always say thrift store it's cool right so I can just put that right in there want to see one of my charms like scorpion Ooh. and then I have obviously died okay this isn't a charm this isn't a charm video sorry okay <laughs> All right, next, so that was Cynthia at Purgatory Paranormal of New York. She's amazing. Check out her channel. I will leave her link in the down bar. Okay, next, let me take some of this stuff out of here, out of this fabulous box. Because I have them mixed together. Why? I don't know. Okay. Next is Tangerine Layla and the Sleepy Oracle. She also does live thrifting and vintage shops and antique shops. And so she was at an antique shop. And when I joined her live, I actually did get in her live the, the last 10 minutes that she was on. And she was like, oh, if anybody sees anything and they want me to send it to you, if you can send me the money, she wouldn't mind doing it. And I was like, me. I see something I want, please. And so she was like, yes, of course. What is it? Well, first thing I saw, <laughs> my son is growling at my dog who's growling at my son. Anyway. Okay. So the first thing I saw was this little bottle. It's tequila from Mexico. But look. Look at this. It's got a shape of a person's body. And look at the booty. Can you see that? Booty, booty. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. So obviously, it's obvious to me, I'm going to use this as a goddess bottle. And I might share with you guys what I wind up putting in there. I won't share like my altar or whatever, but um, I, I don't mind showing you what I finally ultimately come up with. But isn't that adorable? And I've seen a lot of Mexican tequila and I've never seen one in a body in a body like this, in a bottle like this, this shape like a body. <sighs> so I just had to have it. Plus their, their hands are like on their belly, like just so content, you know, with <laughs> so great. Oh, and she sent it to me in this cute little box. Isn't it cute? And she sent me some extras too. She sent me this cute little love life charm that's on like a shell. It's a shell, which is amazing. She sent me these two little rings that are resin, little resin rings that are amazing. My daughter was like, oh, please, Mom. And I was like, yes, you can have them, but after I do a video. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. So that was the first thing I saw. And then she walked past an entire shelf that was just dedicated to bells. There's probably two shelves. But on the top shelf... I saw a little bell that I liked, and of course, you know, it took me forever to just, you know, for us to figure out which one I was talking about because I was chatting and she's trying to figure it out. But it was this beautiful little bell. And the reason that I wanted this bell is because it looks like it has a cactus wren, and the flowers look like cactus blooms. And I'm from Arizona, so it really spoke to my heart because I miss home and my family. So, yeah. And then when she picked it up, I was like, oh, please ring it. Ring the bell. And it sounded so sweet. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. Love it. So then she was like, well, anything else? Because she was about to, like, I think her battery on her phone was about to die. And I was like, yes, ask if they have skeleton keys. And so the owner of the shop, I think his name was Francois, and he had this amazing accent, which I was there for it. Trust me, it was giving me life at that moment. He was like, yes, I have skeleton keys. So she followed him over to the counter, and he plopped down, like, four keys. And, she, and I mean, metal keys, old ones. And I like old the vintage, antique, real, authentic skeleton keys because 
I like doing workings with them. Um, I mean, the plastic resin decorative ones are fine, but I don't, um, you know, those are for like decoration or props, you know. So she was like, which one do you want, Dee? And I was like, I don't care. Just pick whatever you're vibing with. So she picked this one. Ready? It's amazing. It's very heavy. Boom. Isn't it cool? First of all, it says on it, three, two, one, which it's not wanting to focus. It's trying hard to focus. But look how amazing this is. The gentleman that owned the shop said that it goes, it worked at a bank there in Canada in the vault. How cool is this? I mean, look at that. It's so cool. And I like, I love the three, two, one, right? Because it's like, or one, two, three, but I'd say three, two, one by the way that it's put on there. But however you want to work with it, if it was yours. But I like it because it's like three, two, one, unlock your future or your potential. Ah! Amazing. Amazing. And I love Tang. She's amazing. She does third eyed readings on her channel. She does little skits on her channel. Her son does skits on her channel. First of all, all three of these people that I'm going to mention are genuinely nice people. Like genuinely, genuine souls, genuine hearts. Okay. Just saying it because there's nothing fake about them. All right. This is amazing. So I'm going to leave her channel in the down bar. Here's her little information. It's a little sticker. Cool, right? All right. I'm not going to read the no. I'm just going to put it in the bag. Okay. I got one more. One more thing to share. All right. So the next thing is from Mint Fairy. And she's also on YouTube. I think I originally came across her on Etsy though. And then I found her on YouTube after that. And I've been following her for a while on YouTube. I mean, I've been buying uh, her things on Etsy for a while. So she just didn't know it was me. This is the first time. And I still don't know that she, she still might not make the connection because it's not like we talk. Me and Tange and Cynthia, We've all talked and seen each other. I haven't really talked to Mint um, Fairy except for like on Etsy, just specifically for this one item. The other items I bought from her was just like purchased by ship done. You get it, right? But this one that I'm talking about is different. Okay, so first of all, she sent me a little bookmark. Isn't it beautiful? Kind of reminds me of Shadowscape's Tarot a little bit on the back. It says live magically. So there's that. Then she wrote me a little note on the back of this bookmark, which is beautiful. And if my daughter were to see this, um, she would take it. It has a little note on the back. And I love that she sent those because, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. And then she sent me a parchment paper that says affirmations so I could write petition on here and affirmations for my working. Awesome. Okay. This is the thing that I've got and it's a candle and it says strength, love, power, and stability. Right? So here's the story. She has a, some several little candles or candles on her shop that she hand pours and creates and makes. Some are in teacups, they're very cute. They're in different kinds of holders, okay? Um, and you can just purchase those or you can get the option I did, which is she picks the kind of jar and the type of candle. You tell her in the message box, like when you buy something on Etsy, it'll give you a message to seller option. You tell her in that box what you need help with, guidance with, um, anything anything at all, something you're trying to manifest, um, a wish, whatever, whatever you want. You put it in that message box and then she makes you a candle according to that message, according to your desire and puts her intentions in it, does her magic with it, 
does her working, um, and then she sends it to you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It has glitter. Can you see the glitter? Oh, lavender. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm going to not stop saying that. All of these things are very nice and really mean a lot. And this is really going to help me. And what I was saying about the bookmarks is amazing about it is because when I'm not at home and able to burn the candle, I can still have something else that she touched and, and not just touched, but like put her magic on and put her intention on with me. Obviously, I'm going to use that for a petition. But these things, I could have this in my planner and my date book. I could put this in my bookmark. And I put this in my book. <laughs> Not my book. But put this in my book because it's a bookmark. And then it's still going to be, my working is going to be active, right? It'll make me think about it for a second. And then, you know, I can focus on it just a second out of the day. So, yeah, it's, this is a very, very amazing thing. And... I think this was only $10. I'm not even lying. And that's what I mean about the three of these people. Cynthia sent me that stuff for nothing just because she was like, hey, this notebook has a D on it. It'd be perfect for you. And I was like, it's adorable. And she sent it to me. Uh, Tang stuff. I mean, she put little extra tidbits in there for me. And then she didn't have to. Yes, I PayPal'd her the money and the shipping, but she didn't have to send it to me. She didn't have to do that. She could have just been like, oh, I'm at this store. Isn't it great? Look at everything they have. You know, but I was like, oh, can I please get that? Lisa? She didn't have to do that. All three of these people are amazing. <sighs> genuine. They're genuinely kind. So, yeah. I will leave their information in the down bar. And you can go to their website. So you've got Cynthia at Purgatory Paranormal of New York, Tange at Tangerina Layla, the Sleepy Oracle, and Mint Berry. And I think her banner says something like Mint Coven. So check all of them out. Down bar has all the information you need. I'll put her Etsy. The other ladies don't have an Etsy. Uh, Cynthia is thinking about getting one. Tange I don't think she has one, but she should get one. She makes a lot of stuff. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. This is These things are precious, and the people that sent them to me are precious. So I hope you guys have a good night. Peace and progress.